villagers, and welcome back to Collector's Hollow. I am so excited because you probably thought, hey, January went by, where's his Accio box? Guess what? I have my Accio box subscription still! Woo! This is actually January's Accio box. It unfortunately got a little bit delayed. They were waiting on an item and I'm really excited because I don't know what that item was. They're also working on going under new management. I hope this box still stays as amazing as it has been for the past few boxes that I've received. Um, and you are gonna join me because I have the subscription until July now! I kind of just saved up every single holiday between now, like, you know, St. Patrick's Day and Mother's Day, Father's Day, you know, all those holidays that I personally celebrate. So, anyways, Accio Box. But before I jump right into the Accio Box, I bought something off eBay. And I'm really excited because guess what? It also came in the mail today! So, I'm gonna open up this box first because I'm really excited because I know what's inside this. This was on eBay. I am a Ravenclaw. And I found this. These are... I love shoes a lot, actually. Like, I love Converse. I love everything about them. These are Ravenclaw shoes licensed which is amazing and I actually have it's gonna be a Luna Lovegood shelf shelf you might ask I'll have to show you my shelves at some point uh, in maybe a future video but I thought these would be so awesome plus they are my size so I can wear them they are the movie version of coloring so it is the gray and the blue however it's perfectly fine um, I think they look good there's little tiny ravens on them which I'm not happy about, but they kind of look like eagles, so we'll let it go. But look at my new shoes! I'm so excited. Okay, we'll get back to the Accio box. I was just excited. By the way, I got these. Um, originally, they are $40. I got them for $20. The seller, I asked an offer of $20, and they accepted the offer. So $20 bucks for these awesome shoes that are originally $40 on eBay. Really cool shoes. Really excited. I probably will wear them at least once, just because I think they're awesome. All right! Accio box time. Are you ready? I'm gonna show you the black inside of Accio box because they don't ever let you have spoilers. Let's open it on up together. Woo! Almost everything's covered. This is nice. Okay, let's throw this all out. Throw this all. Oh, there's some pretty awesome stuff. Okay, let's dive right in. I'm super excited because I've been waiting for this box because it's past January. I'm excited because February's box is gonna be coming soon. So stay tuned. First up. <laughs> This is kind of gross. It's Pop Soap Frog Spawn. Zonko's Joke Shop Prank Soap Bar. That's slightly disgusting. It's a vegan handmade product, which is kind of cool. It doesn't have basically anything bad in it. And allow bar to fully air dry between uses and storing. I'm kind of worried what's in it. We'll have to read more about this. I, I personally don't usually use bar soap. It smells, it smells okay. But if it's really made with tadpoles, like, that's really sad. Hopefully there's not real tadpoles. Probably not. All right, let's look. What's... <gasps> ah! I'm so excited! So, you might not know this. I actually have some keys that I will be sharing in a future video. But Accio brought a Zonko gift shop key, which I think is cool, by the Muggleborn Sisters. I'm, I have to open this up because I think it's really cool. I mean... There's a lot of different boxes that are doing these types of keys. Very fun, very exciting. Let me pull this key off. Ugh, this is so cool. All right, so, whoo, dropping stuff. It is a Zonko's, it's a Z key. And it has this like, it looks, is it? It's supposed to be a Frisbee. It's the biting Frisbee, I think. That's what it looks like. Um, it says on the back, jokes, tricks, toys, and games. So really fun key, uh, really exciting. Up next, ooh, this is cool. We got a t-shirt! It's a Rose Myrna's t-shirt. Ask for a glass of finest mulled mead, oak matured and deliciously spiced. Love it, very soft, nice t-shirt. I love on the side it has the three broomsticks. Like, that's interesting. It's Rose Murdo's with the three broomsticks. So it says, Barkeeper, voted best pub in the village since 1862. Really cool, fun tea. One of these days I should just try on these teas. Should I try it today? Let's do it. Are you ready? <sighs> Whew. Bam! Check it! So, really well, decent fitting shirt. I like, again, the shoulder. Like, it's a nice shirt. Should we keep going? Because there's more items. 
Let's keep going. All right, next up. This looks really, really gross. It is a tooth flossing string mint. Mint flavored charcoal floss. Okay, I don't, I don't know how I feel, but we'll have to look. This might be like a Honeydukes item. It's still interesting. I didn't know I'd get dental floss <laughs> in my Accu box, but it's okay. Let's keep going. We have one more item. In, oh, no, two more items. Oh, this is kind of fun. So if you like, let me pull all this off. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for shopping in the village. So it's like a nice reusable shopping bag. And it has like a boar on there and an eagle. That's kind of fun. I do use these bags often, so it is always nice to have a nice shopping bag. And I think this is the last item. Let me see what it is. <gasps> Ooh, this is actually really smart. So the whole theme of this, I, I'm going to be guessing, is the village, of course. And it is a permission slip for the village, of course. So Harry had problems getting his permission slip signed. And now we have a permission slip for the village. You can print your name, relation, and the signature. They must abide to all rules. So it says, let me read it for you. It says, this document hereby serves to state the aforementioned third year student is permitted to visit the village at such a time that the school arranges and with the signature of the undersigned parent or guardian. The student shall abide by all such rules and regulations relevant to the expeditions and set by the school as per article 528 slash Z of the 1714 edict. Print name, relation, signature. That's really cool and it has the gold foiling which I think is very fun. So. Let's go in with a cheat sheet. Let's see what everything was and make sure I had some of it right. All right, a trip to the village. Oh, and by the way, if you want to follow along, you can right here. So, it is always a treat to take a trip to the magical village down the road from the school. Well, as long as you don't get cursed or set off a curfew alarm, which that is very true. Whether your goal is picking up treats, jokes, or supplies, or just spending some time with friends, the village offers plenty of places to shop and have a good time. The possibilities are endless, but we rounded up some of our favorite items that embody the spirit of the village. First is the best pub in the village, Super Soft Tea. Visiting Romerda's pub is pretty much a requirement when the well, while in the village, either for lunch or just a quick drink, and you can show off your favorite spot for a sit down in this exclusive tea, buttery soft as always, which it is. It's like a nice soft tea, which is always nice. Whether you drink of choice's mead or something a little bit more magical, Rose Murder will get it sorted out for you and make you feel right at home. I actually love butterbeer. Comment down below what your favorite drink. Pumpkin juice, gilly water, there's quite a bit of nice beverages, but warm butterbeer. Let me specify. Warm butterbeer is really yummy. Next is the joke shop key. Let me, where, where the heck did that go? How much more fun would it be to a trip to the village if you had your very own key to the famous joke shop? Think of the mischief. Display this exclusive full-size replica key on a shelf, hang it with your other keys, or attach it to your keyring for an extra bit of fun. Just make sure to keep it away from prying eyes of non-magical folks, or have an excuse ready for the fanged frisbee on the top. Fanged frisbee! That's what it's called. It actually, I love how they did it. Like, it actually looks really cool. Like a fanged frisbee. They should come out with just a fanged frisbee. Like, that looks like this. It'd be legit, and I'd probably throw it at people. Okay, anyways, Frog Spawn Soap. Okay, this is the one that I was kind of questioning about. Is it really a trip to the village without picking up a new joke purchase? Pop Soap has brought the classic Frog Spawn Soap to life with this exclusive soap bar. Tadpoles and all. See packaging for details. Find more of their wonderful soaps with fewer frogs at popsoapshop.com. I don't think it's made of the real tadpoles. But I don't, I don't trust it either. I'll have to look. <laughs> Next up, we have the village shopping bag. All right, no need to carry around a ton of the bags on your shopping trip. Add an undetectable extension charm to this one and keep everything in one place. It is designed is subtle enough to use in front of your non-magical friends, but those who know will know. That's actually really funny because it's true. Uh, naturally, this tote is reusable, so it's perfect for an afternoon of shopping, a quick trip to the grocery store, and even hauling books from home from the library, or from the restricted section of the library, if you want to do the restricted section. Okay, now we're to this one that I also was questioning, because I'm kind of confused. 
Two flossing string mints, dental floss. A great magical gift for the dentist's parents. Tooth flossing string mints clean teeth as they are sucked on. However, due to the international secrecy laws, this version is actually just dental floss and not a magical sweet. Don't eat it. <laughs> Instead, eat regular sweets and then floss your teeth yourself. This floss won't do the cleaning for you. We'll talk about it later. All right, next and last is the village permission slip. If you want to visit the village during the school trips, you have to get a signed permission slip, which we all know. Here's your chance to give yourself the permission to venture out of the castle for a magical day of shopping and treats. Or display it as proof as you could have gone out on the outings. Remember that forging signatures is generally frowned upon. And then it says, but we won't tell Professor if you do, which is kind of funny. Because, yeah, that's kind of funny. Anyways, that is what the AccuBox. Okay, my favorite item is probably my shoes. <laughs> no, just kidding. That wasn't in the AccuBox. From the AccuBox, I really do like their super soft tee. I like the key, it's a nice heavy duty key. Um, very fun. The letter Permission to Village, I feel like it could have been a little bit more fun. It's okay though, like it's not bad. Like I think it's cool getting paper replicas because they're number one the cheapest, but they're also easy to create. I can't do foiling myself, but I think it just looks very bland to me. Like I would have expected it to be a little bit more magical. The floss kills me. Like I already get yelled at by my dentist to floss my teeth. It is a uh, Harry Potter theme because they have the tooth flossing string mints and honeydukes. For me, it just, it's a little bottle of tooth flossing stuff. And I have a lot of this in my drawer that I probably should be using a lot more than I do. Anyways. I think the frog spawn soap is funny. Um, I probably will just display it. And the bag is useful. Like I do appreciate having a useful item um, that other people won't judge me because I'm out and about. And I think that item's pretty cool. So I still love AccioBox. I think AccioBox does a really well job. I, again, my hope is that with the new management, um, as AccioBox has come out, that we will continue to have lots of these great items coming into our boxes. If you want to learn more or if you want to order your own AccuBox, down below in the description, I will have information. Um, I hope you will enjoy. If you have any questions, comments, let me know what your favorite item was. If you actually like the tooth flossing string mints, let me know. And if you love these shoes, please let me know so then my wife won't be mad that I bought them. They'll probably be ending up hanging on my bookshelf at some point. Thank you so much for joining. Remember, it takes a village and Thank you for uh, keeping up with my Accio and telling my wife that I needed it because she listened and I have another Accio box and more coming. So you have a good rest of your day and we will talk to you later. Bye.